We are joined by Dr. Ray Pence, who teaches at the University of Kansas. Uh, he is associated with the Department of American Studies. The first aspect of it that attracted my attention was that it held out the possibility to reduce grading time. And I thought that would be good for me and for my students. And I hope that it was. Also crucial to my decision was the desire to do as much as I could to make the course, my, all my courses, uh, student-centered and try to create opportunities for students to learn from one another as much as they could. So I found that Critic did offer some, some very valuable opportunities for that. From the very first day, I made attention to Critic part of what I was presenting in class. So it's, it was very helpful that the Critic people provided some syllabus language that could be plugged into the syllabus. I let them know about the, uh, the fee, which in my opinion, and I think most students was a very reasonable fee. And also I, I found out that, yeah, that if any students can't afford the fee, that critic will take steps to help make it available to all students. I involved students in putting together assignments that would eventually be on critic. So I let them know that, you know, for example, and, and to help me design the rubric too. Okay. So they knew that they would be using a rubric and I thought that they will they will feel better about using it if they have agency in designing the rubric. You know, not something that's that's handed down from uh, you know, the the supervisor of, from above, you know. This was a situation where a student didn't she was quite upset with some of the evaluations that she was getting and she thought that she was getting that there was some personal language that was that was frankly very hurtful to her and i believe that she had a a valid complaint there and i met with her about that and and, and that one was much more difficult to negotiate but we one way we did it was to modify my approach a little bit and in this case since she was like I said rather upset about some of the language a couple of her peers used in evaluating her work I gave her the option of I said if you want to send me your creation before you post it on Critic since this has been so difficult for you, please do that because I don't want you to have this kind of anxiety. Two heads are better than one and, and once you get past two in most cases, you know, with the more of a dialogue there is, the better results. And so it was, it was very encouraging with these classes to see the students really embrace the activity of helping design a rubric. Uh, I, I organized them into small, small groups and had them, you know, uh, come up with a couple of criteria that they thought should be on a rubric and then the language that would go with that criteria. And this rubric that you see here, along with the, 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 uh, the explanations, which as you said, yeah, that's right. Um, they were, they were, a, just a little verbose, uh, and I've got to learn how to be more concise on that. But, but I felt very good at going into that assignment with that rubric, and the students helped me design the assignment too.